If you're going to do a whistle stop tour of East Lothian, then one place absolutely has to be on your list. North Berwick is a magical wee town full of nooks and crannies for you to explore. And if you follow me, I'll show you some of my favourites. Harbour at North Berwick looks much like its counterparts up and down the wee seaside towns of the Firth of Forth. You've got the yacht club, you've got boat tours, you've even got loads of little boats tethered up in the harbour behind me. And much like its counterparts up and down the coast, there's been a ferry service here for pilgrims between St Andrews in the north and Lindisfarne across the border since around about the 8th century. Now I know they're not technically in North Berwick, but I've always been fascinated by the islands of the Firth of Forth. There are so few islands on the east coast of Scotland and most of them are in this stretch of water. From North Berwick Harbour alone you can see Fidra, the Lamb, Craig Leith and of course the Bass Rock. Geologically speaking, it's much the same as some of the other really prominent landscape features in the area, like Berwick Law, Arthur's Seat and Castle Rock, it's a volcanic plug that formed over some 300 million years ago. It's also a site of special scientific interest, due to the uh, veritable hordes of gannets that live on it. You can take boat trips out to the island from the Seabird Centre here in North Berwick, but if you don't fancy braving the waves then you can get up close and personal with the Bass Rock seeing this model. Now here you can not just see the, the lighthouse that's there just now, but you've also got the remains of the castle, which has played a varied and important role in Scotland's history. The future King James I took refuge on the Bass Rock when he was sent to the continent for his safety, though he would be captured shortly after leaving the island and spend the first 18 years of his reign as a captive at English court. So if you fancy braving the Firth of Forth, you can always pop by the Scottish Seabird Centre, where you can take a trip out to the island and spend a few hours getting up close and personal with the largest Gannet colony in the world. 